So Karina and I, we took a bath. My little girl has baby oil on <laughs> Yeah, and she dressed for the day. And we got out of the bath and I got dressed. And Karina, I gave her options because, okay, my child likes to pull down the clothes. All right, she'll pull down the clothes and I'll fold the clothes back up and put them back on the shelf. She'll pull back down the clothes. Um, I don't like that she's pulling down my clothes on my shelf, so I gave her the hampers. She took apart the hamper in the bathroom and she took apart the hamper in the bedroom because the hamper is way easier to pick up, but she's not really interested in the hampers. So see, this is what it looks like. And uh, see, it's so much easier to pick up, but I think I'm gonna have to fold the dirty clothes because she's more interested in the folded clothes. So like, I don't wanna stunt her exploration and stuff like that, but um, I don't wanna be picking up clothes all day, every day either, so. And I actually need to go and pick up the clothes in the bedroom. I need to prepare water for this thing because it's it empties out so fast. That's why there's water in here in jugs. I need to go find my jugs. <laughs> there she is. Hey, Karina. I think it is. Daddy loves you. I love that recording because um, James doesn't have a lot of time to actually tell Karina over and over again how much he loves her. Um, so I really, really like that because, you know, he's gone all day. And then when he gets home, he needs to relax. He needs to be on his computer. He needs to be playing the video game. And, like, he doesn't think it's a good idea to give her constant attention. And um, so, like, from him, he thinks it's a bad idea. I don't know why. Because, like, he's her father. And James thinks that you could parent, but you should parent on your own timeline. And I could hear her. I could see what she's doing in there. She's safe. And um, if she did call out to me, I would just... Hi, baby girl! Look at her going through all the paperwork and stuff. She's so smart. So smart. Um, yeah. So, um... I don't know. He's just... He's busy. He's busy doing his mail... His mail stuff. I just wish that he wouldn't pick on me. Like, I'll show you. I know I've done this before, but he, I mean, he's still picking on me with my body image. Like, and I have no body image problems. Like, I am not an ugly woman. No, I'm not the most beautiful woman. But I'm not like, I don't know. I don't know any ugly women, really. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually met an ugly woman. I've considered ugly, you know? Like, people are just people, and people look like people, and we all look like monkeys, and that's just the way that it is, whatever. I'm gonna back this up. I just dropped the lamp. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what did I do? I hope it didn't break. I mean, it sounded worse than what it was. Yeah. All right. I need to get rid of this box of diapers out here. Um, like, that's my jacket. It should be hanging up and stuff. Boom. Like, I'm wearing tights today and a brown shirt. That's what I look like. I'm not overly fat like I don't know but like yeah my stomach looks different it does I don't even know if you can actually see that through the window but like let's put it over here so it goes the other way. but see like yeah my stomach it does it looks different I had a child like but I was never a stick figure I was never the thinnest person in the world like I never will be I have been 130 pounds since 10th grade 11th grade 11th grade 130 pounds, straight on. Like, I'm 134 pounds. I'm 29 years old. I've gained four pounds from the age I was 17 in 11th grade. Yeah, I was 17 in 11th grade because I failed the first grade. I did. Um, I had Mrs. Rakowski in the first grade. Me, Alan Wolf, um, Bullock. I think it was. Which Bullock was that? There was two Bullock sisters, but they were close in age. They were a year apart, and they were in the same grade. Um, Jennifer and Jolene. I mean, I I think it was Jennifer. No, it was Jolene. I failed with Jolene Bullock. With um, Alan Wolf. Like, there's a bunch of us that failed out of the first grade with Mrs. Orkowski because our parents all were like, oh my gosh, your kid failed too. Your kid failed. Like, we all had, I had Mrs. P the next year. Mrs. Your last, her first, her last name was P. Zineski. No, it wasn't P. Zineski. Um, I had Mrs. P in the first grade, the second year, and she was awesome, and I was a, 
I, I, they were absolutely right for failing me out of the first grade because I had an eye patch on. I couldn't really see. I couldn't read well. I'm still not a good reader, like, so I don't think that helped at all. But, like, you know, like, I couldn't read well and I couldn't see with the eye patch because it was over my good eye. This is my good eye. This is my lazy eye. So I could only see out of my left eye. I can't, I'm legally blind in my left eye still. I could only see the big E with my left eye um, when I do the eye chart. So, I mean, my last name is Westover. So I was sitting in the back of the class. I couldn't be moved up to the front of the class until like the end of the year. I remember this so well because I hated this class. You know, I, I didn't, I even, I cheated on one of my tests too. I got a, I got an <laughs> I'm 29 years old. I was a seven, six year old child back then, six year old child. I don't, I don't care. I'm not ashamed to admit this now. I cheated on that test. That, um, that test of, you know, the states. It was the states and state capitals. I cheated. It was the only A I got in that class. You know, but... <laughs> I think it was the only A. Maybe I've got other A's, but that's the only one I remember getting A because I cheated and I was so guilt ridden about it. And, you know, I'm like, I'm not smart. And she was even like, you're not smart enough to get an A on this test. <laughs> like, thanks. Thanks, Mrs. Rogowski. Like, she was a teacher who shouldn't have been a teacher anymore. You know. And then in fifth grade, I mean, like, Mrs. P was a great teacher. forget her last name, though. That was first grade. Second grade, I had Mrs. Carr, awesome teacher from what I could remember. Third grade, I had Mr. Montica, awesome teacher from what I could remember. Um, fourth grade, I had Mrs. Puck. Awful teacher. She hated me. She hated my twin brother, too, even though he was in their class. And he was a great hire. Um, Kyle Cutney was making fun of me. And my brother beat this kid up because he was like, no one's allowed to make fun of my sister except for me. Beat this kid up. <laughs> and he was in the fifth grade. I was in the fourth grade. This is Puck. And what do you think your brother's doing? I'm like, I can't control what he does, and they shouldn't be saying anything about me. <laughs> You're so ignorant. <laughs> Why well, thanks. You know, I didn't like this teacher at all. I'm surprised I passed. She actually tried to fail me. But the principal wouldn't let her fail me because I did well enough in the class to pass. And, um, but first grade, no. First grade I should have failed out of that class. I did. So, you know, good for me. I'm glad I got a chance to redo it because I think that the grade that I was in wasn't as good as the grade that I got in with. You know, I think the grade that I was supposed to be in, all the kids, I, didn't, I don't know. The kids were different than the grade that I was put into. So I was so happy that I failed. Um, you know, and because I had a better, better chance. And, I was and I, when I was leaving high school, I was ready to leave high school. You know, I felt very ready and stuff like that. I was always hiding my age. So I was so embarrassed. I was a year older than these kids. So I tried to, you know, be like, oh yeah, I know. You know, whatever. I was embarrassed about my age back then. Who wouldn't be though? Yeah, I was embarrassed of my body, embarrassed about my age. So yeah, I acted funny. Everyone thought I was like acted kind of funny, like when you, uh, whatever. Yeah, you know what I mean? I wasn't gonna own up back then to be like, oh yeah, you know, I'm not even supposed to be in your class. I mean, you're older than you people. <laughs> Who would do that? So even though I think it actually would have been cooler. I don't know. One thing I want my daughter not to be though is I don't want her to be embarrassed about her body. Because I was terribly ashamed of being a girl. I was terribly ashamed of even getting my period and stuff like that. And I started getting my period when I was 14 and I hid it until I was 17. So, I mean, like, I didn't grow up in the best household. My mother wasn't very open about anything or very loving about certain things. Like, you know, so, like, I'm, I tell my daughter, no, like, one day you're going to get your period. You know, this is no big deal. And she is a 10-month-old baby. You know, I don't tell her that often, but I mean, as she gets older, I'm going to tell her that more often. Yeah. And, um, you know, this is no big deal. This is what your body is. I don't actually don't even think I told my daughter that yet. But I know that my girlfriend, um, Caitlin, when I was younger, her mother, Tammy, was our Girl Scout leader. Awesome woman. Awesome woman. We even had, like, you know, tons of things that we did with this woman. She was awesome. Loved her. And um, she was like a surrogate mom. You know, she was a den mom, but, like... She, Really, she was like a surrogate mom. You know, like, and Tammy, if you see this, hi, I do love you. I did love you. Like, you were my mother. Um, you know, I always wanted to do things with Caitlin because I wanted to be close with you. Mm, it might sound weird. It probably is weird. Um, whatever. I don't know. I was craving a parent. <laughs> I felt like an orphan throughout most of my life. I don't know why. I just did. My sister felt the same, though, too. So, um... 
you know, I wasn't an orphan. I had a, I had a mother, but she was working outside the home. She was working really hard for us. You know, she was doing her thing, whatever. So, but yeah, I just, I just don't want my daughter to be embarrassed about being a woman. And, you know, when she gets her period, I want her to be able to come and tell me and be excited about it and be like, oh my gosh, like this finally happened to me and this is beautiful and this is a good thing. Like, I want my daughter to be happy about it. Unlike me. Unlike me. So, and you know, if my daughter fails out of a grade, I don't want her to be embarrassed about her age or anything else like that. Even though my daughter is going to be 10 times smarter than I ever will be. Like, you know, she is going to be brilliant because I am working with her. Look at that. She's even trying to figure out how to do this. You know? But yeah, I just don't want my daughter to be embarrassed about just who she is. And I don't want James telling her the same type of crap I heard growing up. All right, well, that's it for my update. I'm just rambling. And, you know, we'll be back. Uh, I think I need to rock my daughter to sleep. Uh, James, I actually talked to him on the phone. He is at work, and he's working really hard on his study, and uh, he's doing a demo and stuff like that. Here you go. Toys. And um, so he is working really hard at work, and he's probably going to be... I think I need to do something about the rust on that. He's probably going to be home late tonight, so we are going to do... Probably like a Second Avenue trip. I'm gonna go down and see if they have um, pots and pans wide because I need a third pot. I really do. I have two on the stove and they're always used. I'm always using both of them. I just need one more. So this way I can have a third one. And uh, I need to do my dishes and stuff. Uh, so yeah. So today is gonna be a good day. I have to actually. Did I clean up the bathroom? I know I cleaned up the bedroom. Yeah. See, she was playing and everything. Isn't this awesome? She's playing and everything. It's so good because she's learning. So. And, yeah, so I don't want to tell her no with the clothes, really, but I don't want clothes all over my floor when they're clean either. So, we need to find a happy medium, a flange. You know, you're a breastfeeding mama. When your kids have flanges, flange covers, you know, you know, play things. I'm so comfortable with my body now, too. Like, this took years of me being like, oh, this is good. This is fine. Like, you're okay. This is the way that you are. Like, and I don't think I could ever have someone ring that for me now because I am comfortable with myself, you know? So all of James' fat shaming and stuff he's trying to do to me. I don't think it's ever going to work. And yeah, I'm different. My body looks different since having a baby. But that's just what happens. Okay. He thinks I don't work out. I take two walks every day usually. And he says I don't work out. I take, I'm running after a 10 month old. And he says I don't work out. You know, it's like. Oh, I can tell you that you don't work out because you sit. And you're stagnant. Like I'm outside the house constantly doing things. And you are not, <laughs> you know? So I think it's a lot of his own issues with his own body that he's trying to project onto me. Like, these aren't just my issues, these are your issues too. Because that's basically what he tells me. So. All right, well, that's it for my update. Um, you know, we're going to go and nurse. I want to nurse her to sleep. So, because it's 2.49 and we have to take a walk soon. And uh, we are doing the dinner plan that we had yesterday for tonight. I already told James that. So we're doing tuna melt and we're doing crunchy taco because we didn't do this last night. So my can's are already out as well. And since I got more canned meat, I'm going to use a second chicken. So canned meat, always a good thing to have in the house. It's pre-made. It's awesome. I love it. Um, and all these has the cheapest canned meat around because I double checked last night. I went to Walmart, checked the price, went to Aldi's, checked the price. Um, it's about a dollar and fifty cents less uh, per every three cans at Aldi's than it is at Walmart. So, awesomeness. Alright, that's it.